Gary, good start to the Shield um, with a home victory against uh, Coventry. Two victories already this season. Uh, second half really sealed a win, I think, today. Yeah, um, yeah, I was disappointed about the first half, to be honest. I thought we looked a little bit disrespectful at times. Um, far, far too many penalties away. We've got to cut that out, you know, too. And they were soft penalties, and, you know. Uh, I want the guys to be aggressive in the defence, but giving Ed, you know, soft, soft chest punters on the floor and chat backs to the referees not really acceptable. So we've got to cut that out of our game, and I think we've got to probably start games a little bit better. Um, I think in this this mini league we're in now, it's all about game management, and I just think we need to be a little bit more professional in our how we start in games and not rely on kicking on in the second half when the opposition's fitness is probably not as good as ours and the skill levels aren't as good as ours but I'd just like to see us start the games a little bit better I was disappointed with their two tries uh, We spoke a couple of weeks ago after the final match against Newcastle about attitude and, and that's the difficult thing and was that uh, anything in the first half where again we thought turning up it was it was going to be a give in? Very possibly and yeah that, you know, that, that that's what I've been drumming on to them all week really and well since the Newcastle game uh, these next few games are all going to be about attitude and and how we approach it uh, mentally and there were possibly was a little bit of that at the start of the game you know and I don't want to be in a situation where we have to be at 12 all or 12 10 before suddenly we have to click into game and start playing we've got to be much much better than that and it's all about being professional and I think our professionalism was tested a little bit in that first 30 minutes um, having said that you know sometimes it's hard to change that mindset but I thought today in the second half we did change it so I'll give them some credit for that I thought we did that I thought we did a much better face in the second half and we were a lot more professional in everything we did some changes to the side as well, some enforced with yep. the suspensions and such. So, uh, some new guys in there that have come back, like James Duckworth and other new guys to the club. Yeah. How have they gone today? I thought Ducky was good, but you know what you're getting with, with, with James, though. We know we, we know what it's all about, and I thought he was uh, he was very good again today. I thought his, his try was very good at full length. Um, Luke Teasdale's guy has been on my radar for a while. He's probably, you know, it's difficult for Luke because he's only trained with us for two weeks and he's in a pivotal position. So it's going to get him, take him time to, to adapt to how, how we play and how the other players around him play. But I thought it was a very, very encouraging debut for, for all three. And young Dean, he's, he's straight out of the amateur game, is Dean. So uh, it was good to just have a, a see at where he's at. Um, uh, and it was a good opportunity for us to do that today and he's, he's trained really really well with us um, and he's, he's, he's very very enthusiastic so I've heard some good things about him out in the amateur game and I just thought today he, he showed up, he tired as I expected him to, um, he, was, he was always going to be a little bit behind the pace of the game having not played for a couple of weeks and not played at this level before but I thought he adapted himself pretty well so I was pleased with all three, I thought, I thought they're all three really good acquisitions for us. The timing can be an issue when you've got a fortnight off or certainly a week yeah. uh, in between matches. Um, how was that today? Because Muffy turned up with five tries, so obviously the ball going out wide. Yeah, yeah. I think once we, yeah, we were a little bit. I think we looked a little bit. So I kind of call it rusty, and we shouldn't be at this stage of the season. But we just seem to take a little bit of time to get into our rhythm, and, and that too, Willie, we lay off might have had something to do with that. You know, we, the week after the Newcastle game, you know, we put so much effort into that game, the boys were pretty busted up, so, you know, Tuesday we had a bit of a chill-out session, and then Thursday we tried to pick things up, and they had a weekend off, so coming back this week after that weekend off, sometimes it is a little bit like that, you know, there's nothing like week in, week out playing and training, because you, you, you're in the groove, and whenever there is a week's rest sometimes it takes you a week or so to get back into the momentum and back into the swing of things so hopefully I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that you know now we've got that out of the way that um, next uh, uh, you know next game we'll, we'll be firing on all cylinders and we'll be much, much better but yeah we were a little bit rusty I shouldn't say rusty at this stage of the season but we were a little bit off today. Mm. Um, next match is away at Oxford um, a game that we we lost earlier in the season in the regular league season um, what motivations needed for that match, if any? Uh, well, I was around at the time, but you know the boys were already talking about it. I think the you know the first time it was the, you know when the Oxford fixture was the one that they looked at, and uh, I don't think they'll need any motivation for that. I think that's still a. a you know, something that sticks in the throat a little bit as a, a defeat that they shouldn't have really come up with. So I think 
I don't think I'll need to motivate them too much next week, but um, we've got to sort out the execution and the discipline, and, and we can't go there and just expect to play on emotion and, and, and enthusiasm. We've got to be good skill-wise, and we've got to be good with our discipline and uh, and learn to throttle teams a little bit when we've got a chance to, and not let them off the hook with soft penalties. And the same will apply at Oxford because they'll, you know, they, they'll be confident. They've, they've beaten us once already, so I'm sure they'll be really confident. So we've got to go down there, knock that confidence out of them, um, and just improve in a lot of areas of our game from today. It's another game on the 4G pitch. What, what sort of things do you have to change, if anything? Because um, the, the, the surface is a little bit quicker than yeah. the sort of grass surface. Yeah, it is. And, and you know, the kicking game is important because the ball bounces differently. Um, it, it, it skids off the pitch differently. So we'll, we'll change our kicking game up, which I thought was pretty good today. Some of the short kicking game was good. I'm, I'm, I'm still not happy with these high kicks in the corner that we never seem to be able to compete for and end up giving tap 20 restarts away. But I thought Sandy and, and Sean's short kicking game close to the line was, was pretty good today. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll have to adapt up and we'll try and play as fast as we can and, and I don't want it to play too much of a part but I think if, if we get our structure right and our, our skill levels right we, we'll, we'll be okay next week on a nice fast track. Okay, well all the best for the rest of, uh, of the Shield competition. We've got off to a good win today, let's hope and keep that momentum going next week. Thank you, Thank cheers, you Thank you very much.